My name is Gerard. Gerard. I'm from England. My house is actually two hours away from Riga. Only two hours. No distance. I live in Luton. And the plane that comes to Riga flies from Luton. So thank God for Wizz Air. Now I'm going to give you a little quiz to start today. And this is something that Pope Francis said recently. He said the whole of the gospel can be put into two words. Now, I, I didn't get this. So I'm giving you the chance to see if you can get it. Just with the person next to you, can you put the gospel into two words? Just talk together. Jesus uh, faith and love, but those are three words. Yeah, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Too many words. God saves. God saves. That's good. Very good. It's not the right answer. I'm going to put you out of your misery now. One more man. One more man. Love each other. Good answer, but not quite right. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's the subject of our conference. It's the subject of our talk. This is also conference season in my most albums. Dear's meal. God loves. Almost. Gandhi's. It's. You ready for this? Abba. Father. Abba, Father. That's the whole of the Gospel. Jesus came to reveal to us that God is not only Father, but He's Abba. Abba. Have you got a Latvian word similar to Abba? Abba. Daddy. 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 Yeah. Daddy. How, how would you prefer, when you think of our Heavenly Father, would you prefer to say Dad or Daddy? Who, who would like to call our Father God Dad? Put your hand up if you can call him Dad. Right. Not many. Okay. The other word, daddy. Not many can say daddy. One. Good man. I think we should give these men here a clap because they're very good. It's hard for a grown man to use the word daddy. Yeah, it's a childish word. We see it as a word that we use when we were growing up. When we put a hand up to hold daddy's hand and daddy's hand is up there. That's, that's when we call him daddy. But that is the message of the gospel. Jesus has said, You're our Father in heaven is Daddy. 
Daddy, the provider of everything. Daddy, the one who loves us the most. Daddy, who called us into creation. Daddy, who has wonderful dreams for us. I wonder how many of us realize that our Father in Heaven has wonderful plans for every one of us. If you think God in Heaven has a plan for you, put your hand up. A oh, good view. Okay. That's, slabby, slabby. That's good. Yeah, you. Nine out of ten. That is nine out of ten. Yeah, ten is the percent. Ten is the percent. Ten is the Okay. So the gospel is, Daddy God, Daddy Father. That the evangel is here. Dates, dear states. All relationships begin with our relationship with our Father in heaven. Our relationships with our brothers and sisters and our families cannot be right. Unless our relationship with our Father in Heaven is right. If our relationship with our Daddy in Heaven is right. Ja mūsu attiecības ir mūsu tēti debesīs ir kārtībā. Then our relationships this way, tad mūsu attiecības tajā virzienā, have their source in grace flowing from heaven. Viņās ir avots un žēlistība no debesība, un mēs jums savienot. And our relationships on this side, un mūsu attiecības tajā virzienā, whatever they are, friends, family, workmates, darba biedri, also are connected because we are connected. Every relationship in our life is a blessed relationship because we are with Jesus on the cross. Up, down, sideways. And grace flows from heaven. Are you with me? Yes, sister Maya. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about our relationships with our own fathers. Es grib mazliet runāt par mūsu attiecībām ar mūsu pašu tēviem. Is there any man here who had a really wonderful relationship with his dad? Vai šeit ir kāds vīrietis, kuram bija Burtiski fantastiski satiecības ar savu tēvu. Did you have a wonderful relationship? Varat pacelt savu roku. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ok. Not many of us. Ne pārāk daudz no mums. If your relationship was not good with your father, Jūs satiecības nebija pārāk labas ar jūsu tēvu. Or very difficult. Vai pat ļoti sarežģīts. Put your hand up. Pacelēt savus rokus. Most of us. Thank you. My hand is up because my relationship with my father was very poor. And I'm going to give you a little bit of my background so you know where I'm coming from. I'm actually a father of two children. Es esmu divu bērnu tēvs. I'm a grandfather of five children. Vēc tēvs pieciem maz bērniem. And I'm a great grandfather of two children. Un vēc vēc tēvs... How many? Two great grandsons. Un divi maz maz bērni. I have two great grandsons. A two year old. Divi maz maz bērni. And a one year old. Viens divu gadu, viens vienu gadu vēc. Ok. Isaac and Joshua. Isaac and Joshua. Anybody else here have great grandsons? Ar labi kādam ir maz maz bērni šeit. There's a man, great grandson. <laughs> 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 well, let me tell you something. Children are wonderful. Grandchildren 
Oh, really wonderful. Uh, or recent, really. Great grandchildren. Mas oh, Masvan. Fantastic. Is is <laughs> they're fantastic. I love them. That's in Smeal. As you know, they're, they're two generations removed from me. Did mean your deals about Stalag Normans? Yeah. That's that's Normans. And yet, and I wondered what it would be like when my first grandson was born. And it's not like that. The boys get months behind my mum's bed to see. And I was in the hospital. It's been some time. Half an hour after he was born. The bus stop. Pet some can't even be paid. His name is Isaac, and I held him. Isaac is my son. And I absolutely loved this child. On a swim, pilni, pilni, meal. And I was shocked. On a swim, shocked at how much I loved him. Because he knew that he was meal. He hadn't done anything. He just didn't do anything. He 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 just he was just there. He just didn't do anything. And I loved him. On a swim, meal. And I, that's Isaac, and my youngest one, who's a year old. Isaac, but but my youngest one is because he's going to get that second. His name is Joshua. When you are to Joshua. And when Joshua was just a few months old, okay, Joshua, be taking parts, manage that. I had a very special moment with him. Man, be ill at the epas, breed, serving. I spoke words to him that I will never forget. I said, "Vinjam te zvart, kurs es nekad neizmirsīšu." And I will never forget what he said to me. On es nekad neizmirsīšu, ko viņš teica man. Have you any idea of the words that I said to this little boy? Why don't you tell me about the words that I said to you? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? What does a great grandfather say to a baby? I love you. Good answer. Love and feeling. Not right. Good. Never is with love. Welcome on board. Welcome on board. Yeah. Like a book. Like a book. Okay. Now you might have to interpret this. Can you? I I think I could. Casper's going to interpret these words. Yeah, these words. It's very difficult, but it's just words. Are you ready? Let's just get them. Yeah. You ready? Here we go. His mother was holding him in her arms. Mark, 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 when you were in the hospital, was that? And I moved very close to his face. And this, this is what I said. And this is what I said. And this is what I said. And do you know what he said to me? I think the boy is dead, man. He smiled. He looked at me and he smiled. He smiled. And my heart went boom. And this bullet us. That's the first reaction from my great grandson. That would be my reaction. No man must must ban. That's how our daddy in heaven. That's that's how most of us live. This relates to us. I did ask for mums. He doesn't care what he does in order to get our attention. Ko ko viņš dara, lai dabūtu to uzmanību. He wants us to look at him. Mēs gribam, viņš grib, lai mēs uz viņu paskatāmies. And smile at him. Un smaina uz viņu. Are you with me? Are you still man? Yeah? Because it's all about love. Jo, tas ir īstenā, viss ir par mīlestību. There is no love like a father's love. Nav nekad, nav cits tāds mīlestības, kā tēva mīlestība. It's a special love. Tā ir īpaša mīlestība. There are lots of things in a father's love. Ir ļoti daudz lietu tēta mīlestībā. This word love is very small. Tas vārds mīlestība ir ļoti maziņš. Just four letters. Angliski tikai četri būtu. And we could talk about it from now until Easter. Mēs varētu runāt tagad un līdz pavasarī. Because it encompasses so much. Jo tas ietver tik daudz. So it's about love. Tas ir par mīlestību. Now, we are born into families Mēs esam dzimuši ģimenēs. That are made of broken people. Kuras ir izveidotas no salāstiem, cilvēkiem salāstiem. Especially if they don't, if they, if they don't have a converted heart to Jesus. It īpaši, ja viņiem nav pārveidot, Jēzu pārveidot sirds. If they're not converted, ja tās nav pārveidotas, they're more broken. Jo, vairāk viņas ir salāstas. And we don't choose our families, we are born into a family. Mēs neizvēlamies savu ģimenes, mēs esam tajās vienkārši piedzimuši. It's the choice of our Father in Heaven. Tas ir mūsu te debesīs viņa izvēle. Which family we are born into. Kurā ģimenē mēs piedzimsim. And what day, what time we are born. Kurā dienā, kurā laikā mēs esam dzimuši. And the times in which we live. 
That's all his business. Tā ir viss, tā viss ir viņa izvēle. So we are we come into this world in a family that is a broken family. Un mēs ienākam šajā pasaulē un ģimenē, kur ir salauska ģimene. And uh, many of us will experience difficulty in our closest relationships. Un ļoti daudz piedzīvos grūtības tuvākajās attiecībās. With, uh, with daughters, their most difficult relationship can be with their mother. Meitāmas grūtākās problemātiskās attiecības var būt ar viņu mātēm. It can be good, it can be good, but it can be Tas very bad. Tas var būt ļoti slikts. And with um, sons, the most difficult relationship can be with the father. Un dēliem visgrūtākās attiecības var būt tieši ar, ar dēviem. So I want to tell you a little bit about my father relationship. Tāpēc gribu mazliet jums pastāstīt par savām attiecībām ar dēvu. So you know uh, what my experience. Lai zinātu, kāda ir mani pieredze. And I love my father. Mans dēvs, un es mīlu savu dēvu. And when I meet him in heaven, he died 21 years ago. Viņš nomēr 21 gadu apakaļ. And when I meet my dad in heaven, kad es satikšu savu my dēvs, 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 savu zemes dēvu, I'm going to throw my arms around him. Es viņu apskaušu. And I'm going to tell him I love him. Un es ņemu teikšu, ka es viņu mīlu. Because I never did it when he was alive. Jo es to nekad neizdarīju, kad viņš bija dzīvs. And he never told me he loved me. Un viņš arī man nekad nepateica, ka viņš man mīlē. But he was a good man. Bet viņš bija labs vīrs. He was a good father in many ways. He was viņš bija a good labs tēvs ļoti daudzos veidos. He was a good provider for the family. Viņš bija labs ģimenes nodrošinātājs. He watched over us. Viņš mūs pieskatīja. He cared for us. Viņš rūpējās par mums. He made sure we were educated. Viņš rūpējās par to, lai mēs saņemtu izglītību. And he did lots of things right. Viņš ļoti daudz lietas darīja pareizi. But he was a man who had personal problems. Bet viņš bija vīrs, kuram bija personīgas problēmas. And I think now I'm older and I can see more clearly. Un es domāju, un tagad esmu vecāks un es varu redzēt skaidrāk. I think a lot of his problems my father's problems. Es domāju, ka daudz no viņa problēmām un tēva problēmām came from a bad relationship with his father. Nāc no tā, ka viņam bija slik, bijušas sliktas attiecības ar viņu tēvu. And it comes down through the generations. Tas iet uz priekšu par paudzēm. You know, family traits come down through the generations. Ģimenes ievainojumi nāk uz caur paudzēm. Yeah, the way we look, the color of our eyes. Arī arī izskats, kā mēs tas, tas nāk arī no caur, caur ģimeni. And so do broken relationships. Tieši tāpat tā, tā, kā izskats un, un visu, ko mēs mantojam fiziski, nāk arī attiecībās problēmas. Un, But it's possible to heal them. Bet ir iespējams tās dziedināt. So my father also had a problem, uh, he had a physical ailment, he, he had a bad stomach, ulcers. Jā, viņam, man ar tēmu bija arī fiziski, piemēram, problēma, viņam bija pro, uh, problēmas ar kuņu. He, he, he suffered a lot of pain for many years. Viņš daudzus gadus ciet sāpes. Until finally an ulcer burst and he was rushed into hospital and operated on. Uh, uh, Emergency operation. Čū, lai respektīvi, viņi bija līdz vien, vien, vienā dienā viņi yeah. plīsa, un tad viņš tika aizvest uz slimnīcu, un viņam tika veikt operācija. And the surgery cured him. Un operācija izārstēja viņu. Ok, and he was a different man after that. Un pēc tā viņš bija uh, gluži cits vīrs. But what, when I was small, bet kad es biju maziņš, my father was like a firework ready to go bang. <coughs> viņš bija kā, es zinu, Viņš bija gatavs, ja kurā brīdī eksplodē. Jā. If you catch him at the wrong moment, ja tu viņu notvēr nepareizajā brīdī, I had to duck often. Nācās bieži pielieties. Because he would lash out. Viņš varēja eksplodē. And knock me flying. Un viņš varēja man aizvadināt. He would get angry very fast. Viņš varēja, viņš kļuvā dusmīgs ļoti ātri. He was only a small man, he was five feet seven. Viņš bija mazs vīrs augumā. But so, boy, he had Oh, if he exploded, he, I actually saw him one day, you know, my father used to work night shift in the car factory. And he was trying to sleep during the day. And there was a lot of noise going on in the street outside. And then this is typical of my dad. He must have been listening to all the noise 
and getting worked up in his mind. So he jumped out of bed. And she's left my ward. He, he was wearing a vest and his underpants. Didn't have any trousers on. And he rushed out into the street. She's screaming as ill. And he cleared the street. There was lots of people in the street. Oh, no, still like as ill. <laughs> and he went looking for someone to hit. <laughs> and all the neighbours all disappeared. <laughs> He's angry. angry. So you can understand, it was very difficult for me. I used to, I used to figure out the times he would be in the house and up and a, walking about. And I would be out. I'd make sure I was I would come home when he went. And uh, when I was 10 years old, I tried to run away. One night, I, I was in bed and I thought, I can't take any more of this. And I got my clothes on and I climbed out of the bedroom window. And I ran up the road. I don't know how he knew. But before I got to the end, he called me up. But Pirms has been it's Lizzie's gallon mission Saturday, and he brought me back home. And after that, so my ass. That's how much our relationship was. That's it broken. That's it. That's the the glue that most of the teams be salaust. In fact, when I was 15 years old, but it's about to be 50 percent against that, and he went into a violent rage. On which, when you be that aggressive, the dosens, yeah, the psychos. I stood up to him as as a boy who got stronger. And uh, he backed down. Because he knew then that I was serious. And from that time our relationship was very distant. If my father had known the damage he did to me, he would have been a broken man. Because he had a very good heart. He just had a problem. So I'm telling you that because I know there are men here that have had all sorts of problems with their fathers. So if we have a problem with our earthly father, it's hard to trust our heavenly father. It's very, it's very difficult to go through Jesus to our father in heaven. If our relationship with our earthly father is a distant one. And so as fathers, uh, sorry, as sons, our journey is from brokenness and broken relationships to perfection and a perfect relationship. And the only way that can happen is if the Holy Spirit heals our wounds. We can't do it. It's, it's not possible. But, but, but for the Holy Spirit, everything's possible. Let's take a moment. Would you just close your eyes? Close your eyes. And think about your own relationship with your own father. The problem with sons is that they don't understand their fathers. They don't understand the pressure that the father is working under. So let's just think. Lord, 
We'll pray now. We'll just pray. Let's look at the awesome is. Lord, there are so many um, broken relationships. Yes, uh, there are so many things that are not the way you wanted them. And as we sit now thinking about our relationship with our Father, we ask you to just pour out your love and your mercy into our hearts. Help us, by your grace, to, for, to forgive our Father. To forgive our fathers for what they have done to us. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Now let's look at ourselves. And it's important that we forgive ourselves because our reactions probably made the situation worse. And let's confess our own brokenness. Jesus Help us in our brokenness. Maybe in your heart you can just say to Jesus, I'm sorry for all that I've done to hurt my own father. Pour out your healing love into my heart. And help me. Help me to forgive myself. Now maybe your father's still alive, maybe he's died. It doesn't make any difference. Let's just offer forgiveness to our own fathers. So in your own words, in your own heart, just say, Dad, I forgive you for all that you've done that hurt me. And as you remember, maybe there'll be memories coming up now as you think about this. Lord Jesus, as we remember particular painful moments, we ask you to, with the power of your Spirit, to be there in that place of hurt and pour your divine love into the situation. We, we turn away from all anger. We turn away from resentment. We turn away from bitterness. We turn away from all wrong attitudes. And we just renounce everything. We just renounce everything. That's not of God. That came about through our broken memories. So, Father, pour out your perfect love on us and set us free from the pain. 
and lift us up into a, a new place where we can look with your eyes at the Father you, you chose to give us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If anybody feels at this moment that there's something in their memory that needs more prayer, uh, you feel free to just get up out of your seat. There are people that will pray with you at the side. Or you can 